Hey, I'm Alicia Colon, and I'm going to be your guide today as we put together a paper robot. It's gonna be so cool. It's gonna have a moving head and it's gonna have moving arms. Now, if you don't have your kit yet, you can go and get that at unstationary.store. But before we get started, I just wanna remind you guys that every single paper craft kit has a life lesson. And the robot one is where we get to really think about, like really think about what we're good at. And I know that you're good at something. I know you're good at a lot of things, and but perhaps maybe you've never sat down to actually think through it. And so make the most of this time, guys. Go check out the life lesson. The link is right here. I'll make sure that I put it in the bio as well. And just read that, okay? Think about it. And then once you have that like in your heart and in your mind, then let's get to this paper craft because it's gonna change it totally for you. Okay, now life lesson aside, let's think about the craft. What things do you need? You need glue, an X-Acto or a butter knife, a ruler, and I really think that a craft rag would be really good, you know, to get the glue off of her hands. All right, so it's gonna take about an hour and a half to two hours to get your paper robot done, okay? But this is not gonna be nearly as long as that. So feel free to pause throughout the adventure. So, you ready? Let's get going. Okay, so let's go over supplies really quick. So I know I didn't mention it, but I'm gonna go mention it now. If you have a pair of tweezers, I would definitely use it. Make sure you have an X-Acto knife or a blunt knife. Uh, you just need this like blunt part here to make a straight line. So that's just really important to have. Uh, I really like this ruler. This is a steel ruler with a cork back. It allows me to push down and not slip. So if you have one of those, it's awesome, but any straight edge would do. Also, you're gonna need glue, okay? I mean, you can't really put any of this together without glue. This is my favorite glue, but no matter what glue you use, it's really important to try to keep the nozzle down or on the table flat like that, but never like that because it is gonna take a lot of pressure and a lot of time to get that glue to come down. So we have this little thing uh, in prototype right now that kind of holds the glue down for us, which is really great. Then last but not least, but probably one of my favorite things is the craft rag. The craft rag is really, really coarse and it's very useful in getting the glue off of our fingers without introducing water. Now, one of the things that can definitely ruin your craft is water. Another is getting tons of glue on your craft. So that's why the craft rag is so magnificent. Okay, so now that we have our supplies, let's go ahead and dive in. So the first thing that we're gonna make is that we're going to make the head. Now, here's our little guy, here's the little fella that we're gonna be making. This is an earlier iteration uh, of the robot, so there are some little mismatched parts, but for the most part, this is going to help us identify what we're making. So right now, we're making the head. So you should go ahead and get these pieces out. So again, this is gonna be for the face, this is the main structure, and then this is for the neck, okay? So go ahead and get those and I'll wait for you. So the next thing that we have to do is that we need to score this, okay? When we score, what that means is that we're gonna be putting our ruler down, and then we're gonna be taking the knife or an X-Acto knife, and we're gonna be pulling it alongside of the ruler to make a straight line. Now, when we make a score, we're gonna use the blunt side of the knife. We don't wanna actually cut it, so you want that sharp side pointing up. You can also use the ends of your tweezers to pull it down. You can also use a butter knife. All right, now I am right-handed, so what I do is I'm gonna put the ruler in my left hand so I can hold it down. And you can see what I'm doing is that I'm lining it up with the notch that's here, with these lines that are, that are inside here, and then this straight edge, okay? And I like to use my tweezer, and then I'm just going to push down and it's gonna create a line. You can definitely use your X-Acto knife, um, but you're gonna always wanna make sure that you have a straight edge. You don't want to like just, you know, go at it because it's gonna be all funky. All right, so again, 
There you go, I did it. Now, what I like to do is I like to work from one side to the other and then kind of flip it. So I did these two, now I'm gonna flip it. And I like to do as many as I can in a row. So I lined up these two notches. Now I'm gonna be doing it in here. I'm gonna line up the straight edges. Okay. And then I'm gonna flip it again. So you notice I'm doing pretty much two and then flip. So doing the straight edge over here and the notch over here, line, and don't forget to do this fella out here. Perfect. And then flipping it again to make sure that I get this tab and then also this tab. So lining, so lining it up with the straight edge. Okay, so now you should have scores on every side. So let me, the light will kind of be able to help us see it. Okay. And so what I like to do after that is that I like to push away. So the scores are going to be facing me and I'm going to be pushing away. Now I'm being going to be very careful around this face part. Okay. Cause I do not want to rip it. I want it to be kind of a clean one. There you go. And now you guys can see that's gonna be the neck hole. This is obviously the face hole. Okay. All right. So there you go. So now that we have that folded, I'm just gonna leave that here and I'm gonna go ahead and focus on his happy little face. All right, so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take these rings and we're gonna glue them right there on their, on his eyes. Now, you guys can do whatever you want. If you just want one eye to have a ring, you can totally do that. Okay, so once you have that done, go ahead and flip over your guy. And what we're gonna do now is that we're going to glue the orange behind him. So he's going to have little, you know, orange eyes and an orange mouth. Okay. So, but what we're going to want to do is that we're not going to want to put glue on this. Cause if you do that, then the glue might seep out. So what I like to do is kind of do like a little, you know, a couple little dots where the glue is going to go or where the, where the piece is going to stick. Now I might have, when I do that, you know, you notice that, look, some of the glue was outside of that. That's not a big deal. I'm just going to kind of wipe it off, or you could even just leave it there because it's really not that big of a deal. And then look, we have a little happy face. Happy face. Okay, cool. So the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to put the glue inside this guy because we need the glue to make his face stay. All right, so there's one or two ways to do this. I'm gonna go and share you the way that I like to do it. Um, but I've definitely always have had people tell me that, hey, I like to do things differently and that's, that's okay. But what I like to do is I like to take my little piece and I'm gonna put glue on the edge. Now notice I'm not putting it here. I'm not doing the nozzle like down. I'm quite literally just putting the glue on the edge because when I'm when I do that it's naturally going to when I smush it to like stay in place it's going to naturally get to where I want it to go and not go overboard so I'm kind of squeeze and dragging all the way now my glue is kind of thick so it's hard to push and on top of that it dries kind of quickly so because of that I got to do this a little bit faster but if you guys are using like an Elmer's glue or a clear glue you you have some good time okay so I'm gonna go ahead and take my tweezers so I don't get my fingers dirty and you have your mouth your mouth needs to be down towards your neck okay so again mouth towards the neck and then I'm gonna push it in there I'm just gonna push it around so I lay it in there right where the four scores are. 
And what I like to do, see I'm using my craft where I get my glue off. I like to like push these down because this kind of helps me make sure that it's aligned where it needs to align. Because that's, that's the worst thing is to, when it's not right. Okay, so I'm just gonna push that because if I don't push it when we fold it, there's gonna be gaps around. So I just really wanna make sure that is dry. All right, very cool. And then that's, that's where we are. Okay, so this next part is gonna be a little bit difficult. This is the, the neck, okay? And if you notice, our neck moves, which is like super, super, super cool. So what we're gonna need to do though, is that we're gonna take this piece, okay, and we're going to curl it, stretch out the fibers, and we're gonna glue this together. Now notice the notches again. So the notches are gonna be really important because whenever you guys, um, so whenever you guys see the notches, things gonna line up to the notches. Now I put a little bit too much glue there, so I'm gonna go ahead, wipe some of it off, Put it on my shop rag there you go and so i'm just going to line it up line it up nicely there we go that works really well okay so i'm going to wait until this dries now remember one of my sayings i say all the time uh, is that you can only go as fast as your glue dries so don't rush it if your glue is a little bit slower than i am pause come back to me okay all right so now what we're gonna do is that remember we have our three circles that are or not I guess cuts three cuts that are really close together and we have our three prongs that are really close together so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put my first one in there then I'm gonna do my second one all right so you notice how they're they're going in. All right, and then you should see them on the other side peeking through, okay? Actually, I skipped, I should finish my third, okay. No. This is definitely one of those things where it's gonna take a little bit, but it's gonna fit. All right, so I have my three, and then I'm just gonna keep going around the circle. And then this is where if you have tweezers, it might really help you. Like this little guy. Seems like he might need a little extra help. Where in the world? Here's my stupid tweezers. So there you go. Just gonna wiggle them out. Perfect. All right, and I have one more. So I'm gonna, so what I do is I push it in, push the orange in, so it gives me some slack, then insert the yellow, and then I push the orange through. All right, so. There you go, so you should have yours in. Now, if you ended up with your orange piece, right? If you ended up making it too small or too big, this is gonna be a big pain in the booty for you. Okay, so that's why those notches are very, very important. All right, so now it should be looking like this on the inside. And what I want you guys to do, is I want you to take your glue and on those little protruding yellow pieces, go ahead and put a little dollop of glue. And what we're gonna do is that we are going to push those up. Okay? So just kind of doing each one individually. What we're gonna do now is that we're going to put our piece through this hole, all right? But we are gonna make sure that this yellow side is uh, down, okay? So like this, this yellow should be on the outside, not on the inside, okay? 
and you should be able to push the whole thing through. to the point where you can actually let it rest on the table like this. All right, so what we're gonna do next is that we're going to glue these little tabs on to the inside of this, all right? So it's going to become um, immobile. Now when we do that, there is a seam on the back of the neck, okay? You're gonna want that seam to be pointing to the back of the robot. So that means it needs to line up right here. Okay? So again, I'm going to push it through here. All right. Again, they can be pretty stubborn, so just it's paper. You can bend it. All right. I'm going to make sure that my seam, which it is, my seam is pointed down to the ground. And then I'm going to put glue little glue lock droplets now on the outside of the tab. Now these are called shutter tabs. Okay, and so now I'm going to quite literally just push it down and I'm going to glue it. You see? Doing two at a time here, because I can use both my thumbs. And if I need to support it, I can with my other fingers. Okay, so this is the part that's going to stay secure. So when we rotate it, it's going to be loose on the on the bottom when it attaches to the body, but you'll see how we secure that because it's not like the head can just pop off. Okay, so again, you can only go as fast as your glue dries. All right, so now I'm gonna get the glue off my fingers. We have a head and we have a neck, but what we're gonna need to do now is that we're gonna need to glue all of these pieces together. So go ahead, what I like to do is kind of do like a little snake or a little zigzag and I don't want to do too much because I don't want the glue to, to come out so if you notice what I do is I like to drag like that so there you go I still have some glue that came out so I'm going to wipe it off with my finger and clean that finger with a craft rag cool next one Okay guys, so here are all your body pieces that you need, okay? So we have our neck that's left over. So this is the, the piece that's gonna go inside the neck. You'll see that in a minute. You have your main body piece. Uh, this is the control panel. So this is the, uh, the back of it. You have three strokes that we're going to stack up together in order for it to have some depth. Uh, we have our gauges that's gonna be on top of this. Here we have these little tiny pieces that are going to end up uh, being the colors for our dots. We have this dial pad. Again, it's going to have three rectangles that we're going to stack in order for it to protrude out this time. This grill and then this back piece. All right, so it might take you a couple minutes in order you to find all of those shapes. So uh, go ahead, find those shapes. We'll be here whenever you get back. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is that we need to start scoring. So, but you guys have already gone through this before. You are a champ. You remember that there are gonna be notches and there's gonna be straight lines that we line up our rulers with. So while we, um, so while we score, you have those guides. Now you can see that right now I have this piece pointing to the left. I'm gonna go ahead and change that. I'm gonna do it to the right because I like to point my, I like to fold my creases away from me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm gonna start 
with these two notches on the outside. Then these notches here, I'm gonna line up my ruler. Now again, you don't wanna push too far down because you don't want it to be, you don't wanna cut it. All right, and so I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it. like we only have two more to do. I am going to I'm going to do this last. Normally I do it first, but for us we're going to do a little bit different. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead now every single place where I have a score. I'm going to go ahead and fold it. Now I support it with my fingers. All right, so it's kind of neat how everything kind of comes together, huh? Okay, so there we go. So we have our piece. Now I'm gonna lay it this way. Okay, so now you can see that this is pointing towards me now, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna glue this on on the inside okay now since it's hard for us to know where the border is and we don't want glue to show through the window i like to put the glue around now i have my glue is kind of being a little silly okay so i'm just doing a little bit now you don't want a lot because you don't want it to you don't want it to um you don't want it to like bubble out, right? So then I go ahead and I put it in. There you go. I just look to make sure that no glue came through. All right, perfect. I didn't do a lot, so that's awesome. Okay, and so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this part, all right? So the next, so what I want to do now is that I don't want glue to go again through my holes. So I'm going to, I'm just going to do glue around these, these two holes because it's just these two holes. So on the top and bottom, and then I'm going to do a little bit of glue on the center. Okay. Now, I can tell that I have a lot of glue here, so I'm just gonna kinda wipe a little bit off with my finger and use my handy dandy rag. So there you go. Okay, very cool. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Now I always like to put it down first just to make sure I understand where it's gonna go, even though this is like the ninth one I've made. So again, I'm doing a little bit of glue on the crossbar because I know that's not gonna go and then glue on either side, just little tiny dablets. So there you go. All right, and then I have this piece. Now, and that is where that's gonna go. So I'm gonna do a little tiny dab there and there. Now again, if it looks like it's too much, feel free to Clean it, just take some off with your finger, use your craft rag to get that glue off of your finger, and then lay that piece down. All right, so there you go. Kind of neat, huh? Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna work on is that we are going to work on our panel. Okay, so with our panel, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and start gluing these things, these little outlines, and we're going to, we're going to glue them and then we're going to stack them to make them look like they're one. 
but that they're a little bit thicker. And we're gonna do that first so it can glue really well before we end up putting it on our, our control panel. Our like gauge meter reading thing. So again, I'm doing little tiny around the whole thing. And I'm just kind of, you know, putting it in between my fingers. Now, if you end up getting glue on these things, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, Cause really the only thing that's going to be seen is the inside of it. And really it's not going to be seen that much. Okay. Now if I could actually hold it, I'd, that'd be cool. <laughs> How many times will Alicia drop something? All right. So doing paper, doing the glue on the paper. Okay. Again, I'm just going to take this because apparently I can hold things better with my tweezers. I'm going to lay it. Okay. All right, cool. So again, I like to just make sure that they're lined up by like just testing the, the sides here squeezing those together. Cool. All right. So we have that and it's done. Sweet. Okay. So while that is drying a little bit better, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move to our little gauge reader here. Now you notice in one of your triangles has a flat piece. Okay. So notice that this has flat and then these two have points to them. Okay. So this one is going to be in the middle. And I wanted to know what the middle was. So I went ahead and made this notch for you guys. That is the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on this guy. All right, there we go. All right. Now you can either put the orange on one side and the blue on the other, it generally speaking, isn't going to be that much of a difference for you. It is up to you. But the way that the lines work is that this line of this should line up to here. Okay. So we did that. So you guys would know, you know, how to line it up. Now my, my little guy is going everywhere because he's not, he's not dry. That's okay. It kind of helps you mold it a little bit. So again, putting glue on these pieces and I'm sliding them together. Okay, perfect. All right, so now we're gonna get our little yellow piece. This is our gauge. Okay, and you can have the gauge go wherever you want. You can go it into the orange, can break up the blue a little bit. It is totally up to you. I can kind of put too much glue on mine, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it go over here in the blue. You can see my example over there. I had it go in the orange, but you know what? To each its own. And then from there, you're gonna glue this guy on top. So again, just a little bit of doublets. I don't want to, I don't want it swimming. Now, if you want to pull your little guy out more, you can, if you want to. My glue already kind of dried that quickly. Okay. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to take this and we're going to glue it on top. Okay. You can either glue it this way, or if you feel more comfortable, you can glue it right on there. And I can tell you right now, I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. I give you guys different choices because I know some people work differently and they just like to go in different orders. So again, so doing a little bit of glue 
I just I'm going to line up the the, uh, the corners, and this is where you definitely want to flip it over because you can't see it from the other side. Now, if you end up doing too much glue, just wipe it off, okay? And now what's going to happen is that we're going to take our little meter that we made and we're gonna glue it right inside here. Now when you glue it, you're gonna wanna make sure, there you go, um, you're gonna make sure that, that your arch here is in the center. Now again, it's yours. If you want it to be upside down, cause I mean, that's kinda cool, you can do it upside down, it's yours. You do you, boo. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm putting glue around now anywhere where it looks like it's a little bit too much okay and then i'm going to just place it on in there and then i'm going to adjust it from the other side and i like to use my tweezers sometimes when i get glue where i don't want it I will just use my tweezers. There we go. Now, I, I love the inset look of that. It's so cute. Okay, all right, so since we have stacking down, we're gonna go ahead and stack some more. So we have these three pieces. We're just gonna, I'm gonna like do some dollops. I'm gonna stack. And when I stack, I kinda like to move them around and then align them because that kind of smears the glue. All right. So this is going to be the little dial pad. All right, and so we have this guy. Now notice that there are different colors here that we're gonna be working with. And I mean, this is gonna be a tight, tight fit. So I'm definitely not gonna put glue on. And I'm just, I'm gonna just kind of do little, little like dots in like random places. And I'm not putting the glue on the, uh, on the paper. I'm only putting glue on the dial pad because I don't want the I don't want it to like sink through. And then I'm gonna take my finger and I'm like spreading it out a little bit. Okay. And I'm gonna put that down. And with my little tweezer, I'm gonna go ahead and put a blue on one side, a yellow on the other, and then an orange on top. And then when we flip it over, that's what we have. Now again, this is yours. If you want it a different way, shape, form, if you want it to be a cool little diagonal piece, you do you. All right. So now once that's done, we're gonna couple a couple of dollops again. And we're gonna put it on top of this piece. All right, very cool. So now let's go ahead and flip the whole thing over. Put some more glue on it, a little dollops. Now I like to line it up with the yellow and kind of keep an equal you know, distance between everything and lining it up. That's like what I like to do, but okay. And so now we have that, now we just do this grill for some ventilation. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just like I did last time, just again, little dots kind of like everywhere. And if you feel like you got too much glue, just take your finger and kind of just like smear it. All right, make sure you clean that finger off or you're gonna glue, get glue on everything else and you don't want that to happen and then go ahead and place it. It doesn't take a lot of glue. All right, very cool. So you have a really good looking body here. 
Okay. So before we get any of the arms on, we're gonna go ahead and put in the head, okay? Now this is gonna be a little bit difficult, so just, you know, relax a little bit, okay? All right, so what we're gonna need to do, so you're gonna need your head, your face is pointing you to me, okay? This pointing up, and you're gonna take this piece and you're going to rest it and you want to make sure that you get all the tabs inside the blue okay now i have my finger let me see if i can bend this i have my finger you can see it not this one but my index finger it's resting in between okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold all of these orange tabs outward I'm going to put, now it doesn't matter where this is going. This is just the easiest way, okay? Because again, the head is gonna be able to move all the way around. All right, so now notice that I'm putting glue on the inside of the shutter tabs. Try not to get glue on the blue. And I'm just gonna use my finger again to kind of spread it. Clean that off. Now take your circle piece and put it on top of the orange, okay? Now I'm pushing down, but I, I do not want to get the, this glue on the head part, okay? I only want it to stay on this, this part. So what I like to do at this point is I like to kind of hold it, but also move it. So I'm holding it and I'm moving it. And then what I'm doing is that I'm helping the glue set I'm helping the glue set on the blue neck piece that I just laid on. And I'm making sure that it's not gluing on the body. And, I, and you wanna make sure, cause you know how you're gonna have to fold this, you're gonna make sure that the circle is in between those two score lines, okay? Cause if not, things are gonna get a little tight. So that's why I'm like moving mine right now. Okay. All right. Now we got a moving head. How cool is that? All right. Well, that's not creepy at all. Well, I know you are probably wanting to glue this body to see how it goes, but I'm only going to let you glue two tabs because I don't want us to get too far ahead, okay? So if you notice that there's two armholes on each side, a bigger one and a smaller one, you can go ahead and glue, you can go ahead and glue that and that's about it. Now we're gonna leave that open and we're gonna set that aside. He can look at us, there we go. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna get to the arm. All right, so next up is an arm. Actually, both of them. We're gonna do both of them. So you'll see that there are pairs of everything that's happening here. So this is gonna be the main structure of the arm and the tabs of how things are gonna be put together, okay? Uh, we have the arm bands, which you can see here. Um, and then you have the dark panels, the side panels of the arm, which you'll see here. And these are, this is the arm sockets. It's gonna be very similar how we put it together, like we just did the neck, okay? And I think that's it. We also have these little claws that you guys will see how they work out, uh, and the claws are right there. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna go ahead and just move everything kind of away. And because we only need one of everything right now. All right, so you guys have already seen this play out, uh, but this is gonna be a little bit more difficult. So every place where you see a notch is where there is a score that's gonna happen, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do this really slowly, okay? So first off, um, go ahead and put this 
reflect it the same as in yours. So again, I have this kind of diagonal cut uh, on my top and it's pointing to the right, okay? So you'll see that there are some notches here. I'm gonna put my ruler there. I'm gonna score it. Then I'm gonna put here to here, there's a notch, okay, on either side of that. So notch, notch, okay, straight line. Okay, now I am going to do from this notch to this notch on either side of that. Okay, straight. Now I'm gonna do all the way from here to here. All right, so one, two, three, all of this will be one straight one, okay? Got it. And then we're going to do this one. So notch, notch. Awesome, so now I'm gonna turn this around. I'm gonna do the same thing, notch, notch. Okay, this we're just gonna bend with our hands later. Now, just like we did over here with one, two, three, and it was one straight line, we're gonna do the same thing here. So with that little indent and that little indent, where the tabs run into the, the piece. Okay, all the way through. And then again, from this little point to this end point. So point, end point, tab. Okay, now, here and here is another. So line up at where they point where they meet up, score, score. Okay, so now what we do is that the little corner ones, we're just gonna push those down with our fingers and you're gonna push all the tabs away from you, okay? And push all the tabs away from you. Very cool. So now the way that the arm works is that, see where you have your diagonal cut here? Okay, that is going to meet up with this piece right here. Now I don't want you to glue it, I'm just showing you how it's gonna go. And what's, what you'll see is that there's definite an angle here that's happening on the top, okay? So there's one side that's definitely longer than the other. This one is shorter and there's an angle. Okay, and now just looking at this and knowing that the socket right here is on the right hand side, it's gonna go on the right hand of this guy. So that means when we go and we do this fellow, instead of it pointing to the right hand side, this one needs to point to the left hand side. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this one just so we can go ahead and have our pieces correctly. So again, point to point. We're leaving this guy, these little corner guys, we're gonna do them individually. We're gonna do this one, two, three, and one swoop. So again, I'm, I am lining up my ruler. Okay, now this notch to this endpoint, that like meet up right there that's happening. Right, now we gotta make sure that we get in like this point and that point, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now again, 
this point and that point. Oh, this is another three in a row. So again, that end point and that end point. And then this final one, we're gonna make sure we do that one together too. Cool, so we have that done. And then again, these points here. So the one to the left of the circle, we're gonna go ahead and do, and then the one after that. Okay, so now when we bend it, the socket should be on the left-hand side. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and push all of those tabs away from us. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then again, you have the inside is gonna be a lot longer than the outside, but you have that diagonal and that's how it works out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one with the pile over here so we don't get them confused. Okay, so now there's two things that we need to do before we can, like put the arm together, all right? The first thing that we're gonna do is that we are going to um, make the, the socket here, all right? So let's go ahead and get this piece and stretch it out like we did before. We're gonna get glue and we're gonna put it on our tab and you'll notice again that there are indents, okay? So every place where there's an indent is where you, you, you line something up. Either it's the, if either it's, you know, the, another piece or it's where your ruler goes. All right, so I'm lining it up. Definitely went kind of crazy on the glue. The good news is that this really isn't that seen. It's definitely more about function than it is about prettiness. All right, so. But when I, when I put it in there, I'm definitely gonna want the seam to be pointing down, okay. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is just like we did last time, right? Is that we want, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. We are going to glue these pieces, these little orange pieces onto the blue, right? Just like we did the orange pieces onto the blue of the head, we want to glue the orange pieces, the tabs, onto the blue of the arm, okay? So if you have to kind of like bend this call crazy to get it in there, feel free to do it because it'll, it'll pop right back into, right back into shape. All right, so, all right, so I have finagled my guy all up in there. Now I'm putting the glue on the outside of it. Now it doesn't have to be pretty because no one's gonna see this because this is on the inside of the arm. And then I'm gonna flip these little guys over. Now make sure, now I did mention this earlier, but I'm gonna mention it again. When you're doing this, make sure that the seam is pointing down of the orange socket piece, okay? All right, so I'm kind of pointing it down. Okay, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to attach it yet to the, uh, to the body, we don't wanna do that just yet. Okay, all right, and so the next thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and play with our claws here, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm gonna take two claws and two claw like covers, if you will, and what we're gonna do is that we're going to glue the claw and we're gonna stack it on top of each other, but we are not gonna put glue on this piece. Okay, let me see, move it over so you can see. So we're gonna put glue here, but not here. So notice how I avoided that end piece, okay? So I'm going ahead and putting this here. 
and I definitely don't want that to be glued so I'm just I'm gonna put a little space in there just to make sure just to be careful okay and now I'm gonna take some glue here because I want to make sure that it looks like uh, the the claw has you know like like two parts it's like two parts to the, the claw that it's not just one so that's what these little claw covers are for so I just glued one if I could hold it golly I have dropsies today okay so there we go we have one nice and done and I want to make sure that I'm going to glue it on the same side that I did on the other one or you can just have one side be completely one color and the other side be a different color again it's up to you whatever you whatever you like I like the visual cohesiveness of you know being able to flip it and it's always like you know so it looks like this claw is the same on both sides all right so now what we're going to do is that we're going to put this piece in here okay but we're going to now split this like that and we're going to glue it and then what that's going to do is that it's going to make our claw stand up okay so i went ahead and i have mine in there nice all right I'm just gonna hold it now see I'm doing all of this stuff now because it's gonna be really difficult for me to put it in once I have the arm kind of like in its shape so I do all of this stuff now Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let that dry because it's really important for it to stay firm. So while that's happening, let's go ahead and go to the other arm, okay? So go ahead and get your socket out. Now, if you have any glue on your hands, go ahead and, you know, get that glue off. Now, I'm going to take this. I'm going to stretch it, the socket. You know, when you stretch it, make sure you also stretch the tab because that could be really difficult to like glue. Okay, and I'm gonna put glue on the tab. All right, and I'm gonna line that up. Definitely getting glue all over my fingers. Whew. Thank you, Craft Rag, for saving me. Okay. So I'm making sure that that is together where I want it. It's just one of those things where sometimes it's just super helpful to have a, when dealing with these smaller pieces. Tweezers. Okay. I definitely want some cute tweezers. Maybe one day we'll come up up with the line okay all right so we have our we have our socket we have our hole so we're going to do the same thing but we're going to make sure that the seam is pointing down we're going to stick it through all right and if you have to kind of like you know push it through or bend it in any certain way sometimes i kind of like doing this like weird thing and then putting it in there and then like popping it out I know that doesn't seem like it would work or that it would be, it would pop back, but it does. Sometimes it's just easier to do it that way. It really is up to you. The only thing that I would say is that while you're doing that, you just keep track of where that seam is. So now we have that now we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna get the glue off my fingers and then let's go ahead and do the last claw same way that I showed you last time okay so 
So now that we have the arms with all the like things that we have to put inside the arms, which is really exciting, what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna go ahead and start forming the arms. So go ahead and on the tab with the claw, put a little glue there. Now, if you want your finger to like spread it out, feel free to do that, but make sure you clean your finger off. And then go ahead and line it up perfectly. With the other part okay and then just hold it there because you want to make sure that this is nice and clean and firm and secure because we're about to add some stuff to it all right so go ahead and do that on the other one to make sure that that has time to dry While that's drying, we need to go ahead and score the bottom parts of these little arms things. So you'll notice again that there are notches. So there's notches and notches. So we will score. So again, you can use your tweezers, which is I like to do, um, or you can use your exacto knife. All right, cool. All right, so while we're doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. So the, the inside is going to be the shorter piece and the outside of the arm is going to be the longer piece. And so I'll go ahead and fold that. So what I like to do is I like to glue this part first, right? And then from there, once that's secure, I use that as a brace and then kind of like fold everything to the rest of it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on the top. And I literally, I just want that to dry. That I mean, that's the anchor point, so it is so important for that to dry. So we're going to go ahead and let that dry. And we're going to do the same thing to this one. So again, the outer uh, is the longer one. The inner one is the shorter one. Now we're going to go back to our first one and you guys are going to kind of see how this goes. So if you want, you could go ahead and put that tab down in there because that's how, where that tab is going to go. And then what you're gonna see is that you're gonna glue and you're gonna kind of push it in, all right? Now, there are little gaps here. That's kind of what the, actually, it's totally, there's no kinda. That's what the armbands are for, to kind of hide those, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead, bend that back, put glue on these tabs here even put glue on this one. Now, I mean, I'm not using a lot at all because I don't want glue to kind of like ease out or ooze out. All right. So I'm gonna apply pressure on one side and then the other. I got some glue on my finger. Now if you, you're lucky right now because it is open, so you can kind of push from the inside if you want to. But you're not gonna be able to do that for the other one, for the outer one. Okay, nice. All right, so you have one part of the arm done. Now, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the outer one. We're just gonna go ahead and glue it so it can sit there and become a really strong anchor point for us during the next piece. All right, so you just line it up. If you need to fold it, you can. Sometimes, wow, this is really being difficult. Okay. Okay, and 
then just let it dry and let that become the strong anchor point it needs to be. Okay, cool. I'm going to fold. Chill out for a little bit. Now we're coming back here. Okay, so now that that is nice and dry, we're gonna bend our tab. We're gonna stick that in there. Okay, you can see how it's gonna go. All right. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue it first and then do the tab later. Okay, so. glue on all the pieces but I'm going to do a little bit different this time because I really want to try to make sure that these are lining up and this is where it can get a little bit tricky I'm going to push this guy out with my Tweezers. Okay. So it just took a little bit of training. And then right here where it's together, I'm going to pinch it. I mean, I'm telling you, this is like finger gymnastics here because I'm trying to push it with my, <laughs> with my ring finger pinching it. Just while the glue dries. A lot of patience. But that is one cutie arm, guys. Okay. Super cute. So now let's do the same things. and do our armbands, okay? So what we're gonna do with the armbands is that where it is the thinnest is where it's gonna go around. So take the thinnest and have the claw pointing towards you. And then we are quite literally just going to wrap it around. So when, where you kind of wrap it around the edges, what I do is I pinch it in order to try to get a bit of a, uh, like a good crease. And then that is what it looks like, okay? So once I have it trained, so I'm training my paper first, once I have it trained, then I put glue on it. Very nice. Okay, sweet. So we have one done, the little cutie armband. Now time to train the other one. Now that we have the arms done, now it's time to get them going into our bodies, all right? So, you can definitely see the way that they go, okay? So we're gonna do this one first. Make sure that all your tabs are pointed on the inside. What we're gonna do now is that, and I know it's really hard for you to see, but what we're gonna do is that we're going to get all of these little tabs and we're gonna point them out. We're gonna put glue on the inside of them. And then we're gonna put this circle on top of that. Again, rotating the arm to make sure that we are not we are not putting glue on the body because that's not what we want to do. We want the glue to stay on the orange circle, not on the body. Okay. 
And then as soon as these dry, I'm going to uh, pull the arms out a little bit more, but I don't wanna do that just yet. So we're just gonna like let it chill for a second. Okay, so the next thing, it's gonna chill on its head because you know, why not? Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is the legs. Well, we don't really have to pause to get all that stuff out because it quite literally is pretty much all that is left. Now, you're probably wondering what that is. If you remember back when, that's the antenna. So I'll show you how to put the antenna on if you want to. I mean, you can even put the antenna on in a different place. It's your robot. Okay, so, but we're gonna go ahead and get the arms going, okay? So again, you guys see a whole bunch of knots. So you probably know what we're gonna be doing with those notches and those indents. So first things first, let's go ahead and stop scoring. So we're gonna score here, 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 right here to here, 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 and then here to here. So there's a lot. So ready? Just do it with me. Cool. So we're going to do this little guy first. Now we're going to do this uh, box tab that's like on top. All right, now we're gonna be doing this little guy. There's no notch there. That's actually pretty flexible. You don't even have to do that one if you don't want to. You'll see in a minute. Now we're gonna go from this one on top to this one. Okay, and now we're going all the way top to bottom. I think we're gonna do that one more time. Okay, and now I'm gonna flip it over so it's gonna be a little bit easier to do these. All right, so now we're gonna do this little tiny box tab. This is like the his shoe. Okay, and now we're gonna do this little tiny box tab. And then we're going to do this little line here, okay? From here to there. And then the last one is on top. Okay, so you probably wanna see that again. You're like, whoa, Alicia, can you do that one more time? That was crazy. Oh, absolutely, friend. I can do it one more time. All right, so again, I have this piece on the left-hand side. This is on the right-hand side. We're gonna do this tiny little box guy. Again, you don't even have to do that if you don't want to because you'll, you'll be able just to bend it, you'll see. I'm gonna do this box tab that's on top, and then the second one that's on top. top. All right, and then we're gonna do all the way through twice, from top to bottom. Top to bottom. We're gonna do his boot now. And then we have this one weird diagonal one that we gotta make sure that we do. And granted, I guess you didn't necessarily have to. It should be crisper. Okay, and then we need to do this one big last one that's up on the top of everything. Okay, cool. All right, so the next thing is, now we're going to bend all those tabs away from us. All right, so we got this little guy, and that little guy, and as soon as you, you start, well, I'm not gonna bend the top tabs, okay? But all the other ones we, we bend away, and you're gonna see it come to shape as soon as you bend all these pieces together. See, look at there. So and as you can see, it's a cutie little robot foot. All right, so. We're gonna go ahead and just start putting glue on our tabs. I like to do this big one first and line it up just so. All right, so it's gonna not, it's gonna line up with the, the uh, like the indent of the tab. Everything needs to line up together. So see that? 
I'm gonna line it up like that, okay? All right, and now I'm gonna put glue on these other little tabs. So one, two, three. Nice. So now this is a diagonal, so I need to make sure that that diagonal that reaches. Cool. Nice. All right, and I'm just gonna pinch to make sure that everything gets together on top of each other, okay? Is that it? Now these are gonna be the tabs that we use in order to glue it inside the body, but we don't need that. It's actually gonna be help, more helpful for us if we keep those straight uh, when we put it inside. So we'll just go ahead and leave that as is. Let's go ahead and do that again, okay? So again, Now we're gonna do our last decorative things to the feet. So go ahead and get those things. Take a little break if you need to, and then I'll meet you back here in a second. All right, guys, we are almost there. What we're gonna be tackling next is the these little trims and the middle uh, knee bands, okay? And then, of course, I promised that I would show you guys how to do the antenna. but. I give you a guess, you've already done the claws that way, so it's really not much of a surprise. All right, so let's go ahead and get going. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is that we're gonna wanna curl this, and we're gonna have to train it, just like we trained the other thing, okay? We trained the armbands. So what I like to do is I'm gonna have it here, and I'm kind of just gonna follow along, and when it curves, I'm gonna pinch that together. I'm gonna Pinch, so every single time I go around, I'm gonna pinch. So I'm gonna use this finger to be as like a clamp. Pinch. All right, and so, and then we need to pinch one more time on this side, huh? Yep, pinch, all right, cool, so there we go. So now that I have trained it, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put, again, glue on this piece, because I don't, want the glue to go over okay now I know it's gonna be hard because you're gonna have to remember where did I start again so you remember when you did the pinches the short parts are going to be the front and the back and the long parts are going to be the side okay so i see a short part here so i'm going to go ahead and lay that down okay and then i'm just gonna lay it down and i want to make sure that it's flush with the blue. All right, one is done. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this part two with you, okay? And then you can go ahead and take this and run with it for the next. So this is gonna be very much the same way. Now, I wanna make sure that my seams are on the inside of my legs, and I want these seams to be on the inside, all right? Or at least for me, the seam's gonna be like that. So I'm going to start then where I want it to end, okay? So this is the tab, that's where it's gonna end. So I'm gonna go ahead and bend, pinch, bend, pinch, bend, pinch, bend, pinch, okay? There we go. So now I'm going to put glue. This on the inside. And you can place this really wherever you want. I'm kind of going more like towards the middle. And then I'm just gonna lay it down, making sure that it feeds and it lines up with each other when it meets. 
All right. Now you wanna make sure that when you do it, you match where this one is. And again, you're, I would like to have the seams on the inside of my legs. So this time when we do this, that means this seam is going to be over here, all right? So I will lay this down here, pinch. Have our little leggies. All right, next up, we're gonna put our legs inside. So what we're gonna do is that making sure that we have the seams where we want it, which I wanna go to the inside, we're gonna Put her leg inside. Okay. And then we're going to bend this down and we're going to glue it. Okay. I just reach for the glue lid. So, goodness. All right. So I'm going to push these in. Glue, 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 glue. Glue, 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 glue. Okay. We are so close, friends. I'm really proud of you. You have hung this far. We are so close. I hope you have been thinking about the life lesson. You know, that robots are made for a very specific choice of a very specific um, reason. And we are thankfully we have that flexibility where we can learn and change direction, which is really cool. Now, something I didn't mention is I hope your boot is pacing forward. You know, you can accidentally put your guy on backwards. That would be kind of weird. You can totally do that though. I'm gonna do the glue on this side first, because that's just going to be easier to... I'm going to use my tweezers. Now I can see that I got some glue on this leg that I didn't even know I got on there. I can use my tweezers. There's actually a gum eraser that I super love uh, that, gets glue, that gets glue off. So if you're not careful with it though, it, it can also get, um, it can rub off the paper and you don't wanna do that. All right, so, okay, next side. Again, I'm gonna go use my tweezers because it's just gonna be a, a tighter grip. But I need to make sure that it lines up. That's a sharp line. Oh man, he's so stinking cute. He's so happy you made him. Look at him. Goodness. All right, and then we're gonna fold them up. Now you can, if you want to, not glue that. Uh, just because if, if, you know, maybe somebody would wanna see the mechanisms, maybe you would wanna show your kids, maybe you wanna write a note and put it inside. You know, you can you can definitely do that. This is this is yours. But for those that do want to do it, I'll just go ahead and do the alongside of you. So I'm going to put glue on either on the top and the bottom, and I'm also going to do it on this little box tab right here. Okay, and we're going to fold them inside, and then I'm going to like move his arms up so I can. I always think it's really funny. He looks like he's swimming or something. So for the antenna, we're gonna do the same thing. You're just not gonna glue that tab part, okay? So go ahead, put glue on it. If you have too much glue, feel free to uh, take some off with your finger, redistribute and then stack it on top of each other. You guys are so good at stacking now. All the many uses of stacking, right? And then you're gonna pop it through 
this piece, okay? And then you're gonna, you're gonna bend it. Uh, one on one side and one on the other side. And what that does is that it helps it kind of stick up straight a little bit better. I mean, it is like thin paper, so of course it can definitely get like wobbly on one or the other side. Now, the question is, where are you gonna put your antenna? I mean, you got you only got one, so I you could put it like right here where it like lines up with the mouth. I don't know, maybe it's on the arm. You know, maybe it's on the back. You know, it's like a tail or a switch or something. Um, but you know, for good measure, we'll go ahead and put ours on the top. I'm gonna put it on the center. I know he sure is proud of you or she or it we don't really know but either way we are proud of you so we want to see it we want to see the creation that you made so if you could tag us at unstationary store either on Facebook or Instagram or send us a picture we would love to celebrate with you so anyway if you guys have any questions hit us up there too or you know you have suggestions or feedback we want to hear from you anyway guys until next time, stay unstationary. Bye.